Hey everyone. Hi. We're back. Yep. What are we going to do? Uh, talk about Twin Flames. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know a Twin Flame. You do? Yep. Here. You? <laughs> yeah, because everyone has a Twin Flame. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So today we're actually going to talk about if you're getting started on your journey and you want to learn more and you're really interested in Oracle card decks and you just don't know where to start, we're going to give you the our top three Oracle card decks that we love using, especially when we were starting out on our journey. Mm -hmm. And so the first one we have is the Soul Journey deck. Uh, this is by James Van Pra, Soul Journey deck. I really like this deck because... It's very simple uh, in regards to pictures. It has a word on there with a little, almost like a definition on the bottom or a little script on the bottom on what it is. And so you can see like uh, it really helps guide you into your feelings. Oracle dark card decks are all, all, a great tool on your journey to provide you um, additional guidance and support as you're trying to identify what it is you might be moving through. So that's number one. The second well, one- How do you use these things? To help feel your feelings and yeah, be yeah. guided. Like, it says like uh, imagination. Oh, what? how do I use Yeah, it? what would you do then? Oh, imagination. I have a great imagination. Case closed. <laughs> no, it'll help you. So read more on that one. Mm, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Yeah, and so when you think about that and you might be moving something and maybe you're thinking too much or you're moving through something, it really helps you sit with what the pattern is or what it is you're experiencing, so then you can go deeper into it and find more peace and joy. Guide you to the thing that like you uh, want to identify, and not just look at it like, oh, trust. Well, I trust, so moving on, right? Like, right. You want to use it as a tool to like identify the thing that's standing in your way, perhaps. Yeah. So the second card deck is the Archetype Cards by Caroline Meese, I think is how you pronounce that. I, we really love this deck. It's one of Jason's favorites, predominantly because it will give you a archetype and then it gives you both the light attribute and the shadow attribute or the positive attribute and the negative attribute to that archetype. And then you can really sit and reflect on what it is that you're experiencing. Heavy hitting um, cards. <laughs> yeah, over. there's some heavy hitting cards in this one. And like, uh, it will really help you go deep into that inner work and maybe open up some things for you to look at. Remember when you're doing inner work, the purpose is always to go deeper into love, deeper into peace, but there's sometimes some ickiness that we have to move through to get there. And cards really help us on our journey. They're a great tool. And the last card deck that uh, we would recommend is a little more of a lighter one. It's called Whispers of Love. And uh, it's by Ange the the art is by Angelina Hartfelt and the, the or, I'm sorry Angelina Hartfelt is who the deck is by and then Josephine Wall is who the uh, artwork is by. They're beautiful cards. They're really um, just very warm. They're kind of like a massage for your heart. They're really gonna guide they, you into deeper love. They, they, they feel yeah. amazing. We really like the texture of these cards. Yeah. That's why probably why it's one of our favorite. We like uh, the experience we have when we're working with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very loving. Beautiful artwork. Yeah. So those are our top three. Again, it was the Soul Journey deck, Whispers of Love, and uh, the Archetype cards. So if you're just getting started, just go where you feel. When I first started, my very first deck was the Spirit Animal card because I felt comfortable with exploring animals and their meanings and stuff. So just trust yourself, trust your intuition, and just get started. Buy a deck and enjoy. Mm -hmm. See you next time, guys.